Hi, Mike here. Last week, somebody asked me about frequency. They didn't call it that, but that's what it was. They had a list of about 500 people and one of the columns contained those people's ages. They wanted to know how many people were in various ranges. Creating a pivot table wouldn't have worked because the grouping interval has to be the same and my client didn't want consistent intervals. So instead, I turned to the frequency function. Let me show you how it works. Here's my data. It's a list of employees who are part of a job rotation scheme within a company. The data has been converted into a table, which will make my life easier down the line. The table is called employees. You can see that I have a column containing each person's age. Obviously, this data changes each year as people join and leave the scheme. The lowest number, however, will always be 16. The company won't employ anybody under the age of 16. The highest number, well, that can vary. But in this scenario, it's not that important. If I go over to the summary sheet, I want to know how many people are aged between 16 and 18, 19 and 25, 26 and 40, 41 and 50, and over 50. And as you can see, there is no consistency in those intervals. As I said, to do this, I'll use the frequency function. To use the frequency function, I need to define two ranges. The data array is where the ages are stored. In this case, it's column H in the employees list sheet. Although in the formula, I can refer to that by the table name, employees, and the column name, age. The second range I need to define is the bins array. And this is a range containing the intervals. I can't use column A because what's in there is text entries. The bin range needs to contain values. In this case, I'll define those values in column G. The bin range, by the way, can be defined anywhere. And when I've finished, I'll hide the column as I don't actually need to see the values in it. The bin range contains the upper boundary of each interval. So I'll go to B2 and type equals frequency open brackets. The data array, as I said, is the age column from the employees table. So I'll put employees, open square brackets, and select age, close square brackets. I'm referencing the table and column names. If I hadn't converted the data into a table, I would have referenced the employee list sheet H2 to H101. So then I put my comma. The bin range is G2 to G5. Close the brackets and press enter. And that's it. We can see how many people we have in each range. You can see that there is nobody aged over 50. But if I go back to the list and I add another employee to save time, I'll just copy one, paste, but change the age to be, say, uh, 53. Go back to the summary sheet. You can now see that we have one person in the over 50s category. I will then, just to finish this off, hide column G and just create a quick chart. So select that data, go to insert, and I'll just create a column chart. And apart from spending a little bit of time making the chart look nice, that is it. Well, I hope you found the video useful. If you did, please give it a like. And if you're not already subscribed, please consider subscribing to the channel. I'll catch you in the next video, but until then, have an excellent day.